Hey teacher friends, are you thinking about ways that you can make your math content fun and engaging? Creating a classroom where your students wanna be with you and they're excited to do the math. I know that sounds crazy, right? But we can actually do this and make math fun and practical and build on our students' creativity. Here's one way I'm ready to share with you. And best of all, everyone has success. This month we've been working on percent. I've been teaching my students explicit models like bar models, double number lines, as well as the algorithm. They got to create their own classroom store. I couldn't believe the, how engaged my students were, but they loved it because they got to build in their own interests and I got to learn more about them as mathematicians. This student made a bean store. Again, they have the cost of the bean, right? They wanna be super creative and the percent off. And then as you can see, the student used the traditional algorithm to find how much the bean would cost after the percent off. Then I have another student here. They made a Jigglypuff card store. And they used a double number line. I had another student use a bar model for their store, which was a faux shop. And finally, what girl doesn't like Uggs? We have our Uggs store. Again, they, this student had three items, the percent off, and they get to pick their own percents because I want to see what they feel comfortable with. And she also used the traditional algorithm. So some creative ways, but also multiple representations. And just connecting these different representations is so important for my students because we know as mathematicians, this is what mastery is all about when the students can move through different representations and understand their mistakes and understand the math skills and concepts that they're learning. Best of all, this entire classroom bulletin board where every student can post their work and challenge each other with new problems. As a math teacher, I can see my students thinking. They used a bar model as well as using the algorithm. And I can see some of the areas that they need some extra support. A fun way to assess my students because I get to see more of their thinking and not just whether or not they answer the question correctly on the test. Remember, as teachers, we wanna create spaces for all of our students to thrive. We wanna create opportunities for them to feel like they belong. Bringing in their interests, making math learning fun and exciting is just a great way to really make this a class that your students wanna be in. So remember, Push those boundaries, create opportunities for your students to have success, tie in their interests, and all of your students will thrive. See you next time, and don't forget to like and subscribe.